Well, hi, I'm um, Professor Stephen Russell. I'm the Richard O. Jacobson Professor of Molecular Medicine here at Mayo Clinic. And I'm also a consultant hematologist. The manuscript which we're going to discuss right now is, uh, its title is Remission of Disseminated Cancer After Systemic Oncolytic Virotherapy. And the significance of this paper is that um, for many, many years people have been working on the idea that viruses can be used as a means to destroy cancer. And our thrust here at Mayo Clinic and the dream that we sort of locked onto was that maybe it would be possible to give the virus intravenously and to eliminate cancer systemically rather than give it as an intratumoral therapy. And we've been working on this concept for a long time now, um, as have many other groups. And while it's been possible to eliminate disseminated cancer in mice, uh, previously, there's been no demonstration of that in, in a human subject. And so we here in this paper describe the first patient to actually um, demonstrate that this really is possible. And uh, it's a 49-year-old woman who, whose case we tell who had multiple myeloma, multiply relapsed. Uh, she'd had two stem cell transplants. She'd become refractory to a whole variety of different therapies. And she elected to enroll in our clinical study of intravenous administration of a measles virus. Um, and the measles virus was modified in a way that I'll come back to. But um, she had a remarkable response. It was a single intravenous infusion of measles virus. A tumor on her forehead regressed completely. Um, the other lesions that were visible on her PET CT scan uh, disappeared completely. Her bone marrow, which was diffusely infiltrated with myeloma cells, cleared. And that was just with the virus being administered and with no other therapy whatsoever. The treatment was toxic and she developed a really bad headache during infusion of the virus. We had to stop the infusion and give her Benadryl, but she soldiered on with it. I mean, it was, it was quite scary because she was the the first person to encounter such a, a significant side effect. But she got through it and then she had fever and rigors for a few days that recurred. Um, but very rapidly the tumor on her forehead started to shrink and the disease cleared. So her remission lasted for nine months and then she had a local relapse of the tumor on her forehead which has now actually been treated with local radiotherapy because her bone marrow remained clear and none of the other lesions recurred. So uh, it really is a truly sort of remarkable and historic outcome for a field that has been in play since the 1950s when viruses were first cultured uh, in the lab. Many, many people have been um, treated with oncolytic viruses. And so it is a breakthrough. And there's a second patient who also is described in the paper who didn't have such a dramatic response to the treatment, although she did have a, a response. Her, um, her tumor did regress. Her bone marrow, which was involved with myeloma, did clear. Um, and she had multiple um, uh, bulky tumors, especially in her legs and her pelvis. Um, which did become painful and did seem like they might be shrinking, but then rapidly regrew. But the very important thing about the second patient uh, described in the paper is that the virus has been engineered to incorporate a gene that allows us to image where it's got to in the body. So it's the sodium iodide symporter, which is naturally expressed in the thyroid gland, and it's possible to image um, thyroid activity by giving radioactive iodine, which concentrates in the thyroid. And iodine is concentrated through this NIS protein. So the virus now incorporates the NIS gene. Virus-infected cells express in this protein, and we can image um, using radioactive iodine to see where the virus infection has got to. And the imaging data from the second patient described are beautiful and they clearly demonstrate that the virus uh, arrived in and propagated selectively at sites of tumor growth. So we have, we have clear evidence from these two patients that A, a systemically administered virus can target sites of tumor growth 
and b that it can mediate a complete regression uh, that is durable uh, in a in a patient with multiple myeloma so this and the significance of this therapy you know there are many um, novel cancer therapies being developed and and there are often such stories of people having a good response what we're really excited about with this uh, particular approach is that it, it, we believe it can become a single shot cure this is this is very unusual most cancer therapies are given repeatedly you know month after month after month and and may continue indefinitely in some cases but here we've got a therapy that you give once you give a single dose and the outcome can be long-term remission of the cancer. And, and in fact, in our preclinical models, we can cure animals of that cancer with a single intravenous dose. So that's where we hope this field is headed. Um, and we're, we're very pleased to have, uh, have reached this milestone. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.com. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.